I don't know if you've ever been in that position where you've been dating somebody and all of a sudden they talk about their ex a little bit too much or they call you by her name. In this video, I want to talk about the obvious signs that he actually isn't over his ex, that he's still thinking about her even if he's not openly aware of that, which leads to him not being emotionally available to be able to give you the committed relationship that you deserve. I'm Renee Slansky. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's Luna in the background. I'm a dating and relationship coach. Yes, Luna, we're talking about you. And I help women from around the world find and build the relationship that they desire and deserve. All right, I want to tell you a little bit of a story just so that you can understand that I have so been there and I know what it's like. I dated a guy back in my early 20s and it was so clear, not until, of course, later on, that he was not over his ex. Even his sisters and family at the time was like, oh, yeah, she was a big part of his life. He was with the girl for a couple of years. Um, obviously, it was his first love. And when they broke up, I was the girl after her. Now, there were some really obvious signs, like he had photos of her and him still in his drawer. And once he even told me that I should, you know, can try on some of her clothes if I wanted to, because her clothes were still at his house. And at the time, he's like, oh, that would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? And I was like, uh, yes. And there were other moments, which I won't get into, where it was obviously really inappropriate to start referencing her um, in moments where you don't reference an ex. Anyway, I know what it's like. And what I want to do is I want to give you the signs that maybe he actually isn't over his ex. Because the last thing that I want you to do is be in denial or fall for someone who isn't emotionally available or find out that you are a rebound in that relationship and it's not really going to go anywhere. Okay, here is the first sign. He referenced her a lot. Now, when I say reference her, sometimes we can talk about our past, okay? It's normal to talk about our past, especially if we've had a marriage before or a long-term relationship, and we all know that we all have histories. But if he's constantly speaking about her and bringing her up, even if he calls her my ex, then clearly she is still in his thoughts. Now, whether or not he is over her might be irrelevant. The fact that he still has her in his subconscious and he's still referring to her all the time shows that there is a part of him that is still attached to whatever it is that he had with her. Now, one of the ways that you can know that he isn't over her and referencing her is through his jokes. Men often reveal their truth in their jokes, okay? So if they joke about, oh, you know, my ex didn't used to do that, or thank goodness you do this because my ex, you know, she always used to do this instead and I hated it, goes to show that, well, why are you even comparing me to your ex in the first place? Why is she even in the picture? The last thing that you want to do is feel that you're in a relationship with three people, right? His ex, you, and him. So if he's joking about her, even if it's in a negative way, if he's comparing you to her um, and says the ex or says her name, um, then really she's in his subconscious. And that's because he either hasn't gotten over her or maybe there's still feelings attached there, or he hasn't really come to terms with the fact that there's someone new in his life and that should be taking up space in his heart and mind. Number two, he calls you her name. I mean, we're all human here. Sometimes we make mistakes. I mean, you know, parents call their kids the wrong name and sometimes we call our partner the wrong name. It all depends when it actually happens. Now, what you need to look for here is if it happens, obviously, consistency, con sorry, consistently, and if it happens when there is high emotion. Now, if that high emotion is intimacy and love, or whether that high emotion is stress and conflict, if he slips out her name instead of your name in that high emotional moment, that is a red flag because it shows that his emotions is still attached to her. Now, whether he's in love with her or not, doesn't necessarily mean that that's why he's calling you her name. It just could be that he hasn't emotionally let go of her because maybe she was toxic or hurt him and therefore he's not going to be fully present and fully emotionally available in your relationship because he's still got uh, you know, ties and strings attached to what she did to him or how she made him feel. And these high emotional states are actually triggering that. 
The third thing is, is he has dreams about her and he actually tells you. Now, obviously we can't control what it is that we dream, but our dreams are basically all the things that we've been thinking about in the day in our subconscious and then like being awake at nighttime. So when we're asleep at nighttime, um, that's when our subconscious is switched on and it's like 96% into overdrive, okay? And things that we've been taking in without even realizing unconsciously are then magnified in our dreams. So if he's dreaming about her, it's most likely because he's had things trigger those thoughts about her or he's been thinking about her and he's got deep underlying things uh, or feelings and emotions about her which haven't actually been resolved. Now, if he says to you, oh, so random, I had a dream about her last night, before you start freaking out, I would actually say, oh, okay, so what was the dream about? Um, and then if, you know, he tells you or whatever, it could be something that you can, uh, you know, take with a grain of salt. It doesn't necessarily mean that, oh, if he says to you, oh, I had a dream that we were getting married again, it doesn't mean that he wants to go and marry her. But it could be an indication that he still has attachments there, or at least his subconscious still has attachments there. Remember, girls, that when somebody gets into a new relationship with you, we all have past and we all have things that are buried within us that sometimes we aren't aware of until a new person comes into our life and then pulls it forward. It doesn't mean that he doesn't want to be there for you and grow something with you, but if he's constantly dreaming about her and constantly again talking about her and saying random things like oh I had a dream about her last night or or me and Sally used to go to that restaurant or so I don't want to go there or you know he's finding ways to interject her into your daily routine and your relationship then chances are he is still thinking about her and he probably isn't over her or how she made him feel whether that's pain or something good. Okay, number four, he always talks bad about her. Now, I can understand that when somebody's hurt you, um, you know, and you get into a relationship with someone good, it's almost like you think, oh, thank goodness I've got this great person in my life because such and such was such an, an, an idiot to me. But if he's constantly talking about her, even in a negative way, it's kind of like, well, what does she have to do with us now? Even if she treated you like crap, clearly I'm not treating you like crap, but why do you have to compare us in the first place? So if he's talking negatively about her constantly, it still shows that he's not over her. Um, and now he may not be over her because she hurt him, okay? not because he loves her, but either way, if he's holding on to baggage because of her and he's bringing that into your present relationship, it is a red flag for him being able to be fully present and available to you and for you guys to actually move forward as a couple. Okay, before I get into the last really two key points that it's obvious that he isn't over her, um, what I want to do is I want to actually give you girls access to a free masterclass that I'm holding. Now, this free masterclass is all about dating men who are ready, as in you don't have to drag them to be on the same page as you. You don't have to convince them. This is about understanding the three mistakes that we make in dating and the three shifts that we need to make in order to be able to attract a man who is on the same page, who wants to actually be emotionally available, who wants to move forward and actually romance us and build something with us. Now, this masterclass is entirely free. And if you want to have access to that, simply click the link below. It goes for about an hour or just over an hour. So it is jam packed with value. As in all my free teachings and coachings, I make sure that you walk away with a strategy and knowledge. So um, only register for this if you are really ready to learn and come ready to receive. Okay, number five, he struggles to talk about a future with you. If you're dating a guy and you're wondering, mm, is he over his ex? And, you know, you're really kind of testing him because you're saying, oh, can we go here in three months? Or what's happening at Christmas time? Or what are we doing here and there? And he struggles to commit to future plans or talk about the future. And you find on top of that, he happily references his past more than that could be an indication that he really just isn't ready to let go or he's so fearful of having a repeat of the past that he isn't ready to actually see a future with anybody. And lastly, number six, he still has stuff of hers lying around and he doesn't really seem to want to get rid of it. Massive indication if he is, um, you know, got pictures of her clothes, 
things like that and he kind of just dismisses it or he says oh well I can't chuck that out because Amanda gave it to me and then he starts reminiscing about memories that he had with her whether it was from a trip or this and that it means that he most likely isn't over her and he's still attached to her and he's holding on to whatever he has left of her. So there you go, girls. Those are my tips. Again, if you want to know how to actually identify and attract a man who is ready to be on the same page as you, then make sure you click and register for my free webinar below. If this helped you, give you a, give me rather a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications for my new videos that I do every single week and drop a thanks Renee down below if you can totally relate to this or tell me one of your stories because I'm sure we've all got a story about a time that we dated a guy and it was so clear that he was not over his ex. Until next time, have an amazing day. Know that you are worthy of the love that you desire and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.